Gnarly Paranormal, I'm Wesley Marquis, and welcome to Paranormal Weekly, the show that takes you through the week's paranormal news. Medical staff in Cambridge, Ohio, were left perplexed when a woman stated that a fall she had taken was not due to a medical condition, but due to supernatural forces. The woman and her daughter stated that they have two ghosts living in their house, one in the basement named George, and another blocked off in the attic named Victoria. They believe that Victoria somehow escaped her confines and ended up possessing the woman and causing her to fall. The infamous Westfield Watcher House, which recently topped the list for the creepiest urban legend in New Jersey, is once again up for sale. The six-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath home located on Boulevard was listed for sale on Monday on both Realtor.com and Zillow for 1125000 The owners of the home, Derek and Maria Brodas, bought the property for 1355657 in June of 2014, but have said they couldn't move in because they received the first of four letters from the watcher three days after purchase. A castle where the ghost of a boy was apparently seen holding visitors' hands without them noticing has been voted England's spookiest. English Heritage staff gave the verdict on Bolsford Castle in Derbyshire, which is built on an ancient burial ground. The 1,800 English Heritage employees rated the site they work at on a spooky scale. Other events at the ex-home of William Cavendish include strange footsteps and slamming doors. People also say that they felt like they were being pushed, they've had cold sensations, and they've heard muffled voices. English Heritage looks after 400 castles, abbeys, and historic houses nationwide. Paranormal enthusiasts have been inadvertently damaging an area of allegedly haunted forest. Daring Wood, a 400-acre area of woodland situated between the villages of Smarden and Plucky, has become so synonymous with stories of ghosts over the years that it is often referred to as the Screaming Wood or the most haunted wood in England. Several witnesses claim to have seen the ghost of a gypsy woman who accidentally burned herself to death there, or a schoolmaster who allegedly hanged himself from one of the trees. Now, most recently, a spate of TV shows covering the forest's haunted reputation have resulted in an influx of visitors ranging from paranormal investigators to documentary film crews. Sadly, though, this has ended up having a negative impact on the forest and on the area in general. People have always been drawn to Daringwood because of its haunted reputation, said a spokesman for the Woodland Trust. But a number of recent TV programs has led to a significant increase in overnight visitors. A lot of damage is being done to the local habitat, with flowers and bushes being trampled and nocturnal wildlife being disturbed. We want everyone to be able to enjoy the woods responsibly, but these people are n not only causing a nuisance, but they're also abandoning all their equipment. A security firm has since been employed to escort people out of the woods after dark. Remember people, if you're going to be investigating places, please remember to have respect not only for the spirits, but also for the places that you're investigating. Footage of a ghost crossing the road and disappearing through a wall into the grounds of a cathedral has supposedly been caught in Ireland. The footage was apparently recorded on a dash cam at Vickers Hall in Armagh, Northern Ireland, just outside of the grounds of the Church of Ireland Cathedral. Now, the person who shared the footage wants to remain anonymous, but they sent the footage to Armagh I news site saying that their grandmother recorded the footage on her dash cam. I'll leave a link to the description or a link to the video and you can be a judge of whether or not you feel this is real evidence or not. Are aliens visiting Earth? Well, this new video claims to show an alien being on the roof of the White House. For those interested in doing a little bit of paranormal investigation, there is an interactive map released by ESR that you can visit. I'm going to leave a description to that in the description below just something interesting for our UK friends to take a look at and perhaps get some inspiration of where to go next on their paranormal investigations now remember if you are doing a paranormal investigation as I said earlier in the video please remember to do so with respect to the places that you're visiting respect to the spirits so that other people can enjoy the places that you're visiting
That does it for this week's edition of Paranormal Weekly. From Early Paranormal, this has been Wesley Marquis, reminding you to stay true, keep believing, and I'll see you in the comments. Hello and welcome to Paranormal Weekly. Anybody else?